Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Gully here. Welcome back to another epic Polytopia video. This is game three of me and TNT Master's best two out of three series, and the winner of this game will decide who wins the whole shebang. Let's get into it. So for this game, we agreed to do a Symanti Mirror match. I think this was recorded pretty much right around when Symanti came out, so we were like, hey, that'd be fun. If I remember right, this game ends up being pretty spicy. So here's our spawn. Got some fun guy, and also some stuff we can hunt. So, you know, a pretty good spawn, I'll take it. Just gonna move our shaman, train a warrior, and end our turn. Some people like to harvest some fungi on the first turn, I prefer to just train a warrior. So I go ahead and boost my warrior, and then I send him to explore. Then I get some fungi. Capital levels up, we take workshop. Move the shaman, which reveals a village. We're gonna move our boosted warrior onto that, and train another warrior. Or not. We go ahead and move our shaman south, which reveals a ruin, and then we capture that village. I'm guessing we put fungi there. Yes. And then we end our turn. Our city levels up. I'm guessing I get an explorer. Yes. That reveals another village or two. Now we could move our shaman onto the ruin, or we could boost our warrior and then move that onto the ruin. The warrior is going to be the smarter play, just because I don't want to risk my shaman dying. And we actually reveal his borders right there, so that's interesting. Our capital levels up and we take resources. This ruin was pretty lucky. <laughs> we get a centipede from it and it's turn five. So, yeah, that's something. We grab hunting. That's going to let us level up some stuff. There's resources. And probably going to train another warrior and then boost. Yeah. Big brain. And then we end our turn. So that centipede this early is pretty epic. It's going to give us a much easier time. We get eyes on his shaman. We get stars from him. That's going to come in handy. We take out his warrior. That lets our centipede extendo. His city name is The. That's pretty cool. Now right now I'd be looking to pick up riding and probably climbing too. Just because, you know, that's going to allow us to kind of quickly rush on in, you know how it is. Looks like we're going the forestry route. Gonna get another centipede in my capital. That gives us our metropolis monument, which we just slapped down in our second city. And we just move a bit of units, and then we end our turn. Now I'm gonna get my centipede zooming. We go ahead and take climbing. That's gonna allow us to siege a city. There we go. And I guess we put the shaman onto the village. Yes. And that other warrior does some more exploring east. We level up that second city and take population growth. Next turn, another centipede there. It's going to be pretty epic. We also reveal borders for a second city he has. That could be his capital too, we don't know. He hits the end of my centipede. Moves his shaman onto that village. And we see some more borders pop up. So he's got a third city now. At least. We use that second centipede to take out his warrior, get some more vision. Eyes on the third city, and we reveal a couple more villages. Next we get a, another centipede. We are like, rolling in centipedes right now. That doesn't sound very fun. Level up his city that we capture for resources, capture that village that our shaman's on, and then we go ahead and level it up. He kills my warrior on the mountain, which also confirms to us that he does not have climbing yet, since his warrior didn't move onto that tile. He trains a hexapod. So the man's got riding. He does manage to get that village over west. So I divert one of our centipedes that direction, and we go ahead and boost it. Send our centipede further south. So he's got some rider action going. It's a bit concerning, but I'm sure we'll be able to handle it. We reveal his capital. We move that centipede towards that city of his. The hexapod does some exploring. And I guess we move on to that village. With the warrior, yes. And then centipede kills his warrior. Good, good. We level up that city and take resources. And I'm guessing we just spam more hexapods. We go ahead and grab roads too. Okay. Slap a bit of mycelium down, capture that city, go ahead and level it up, 
And I think we get an explorer, yes. It doesn't go where we want it to, unfortunately. But it does happen to a real village that we can now get a turn earlier. Go ahead and clear that forest so we can train another hexapod. And end our turn. He hits our centipede and moves the shaman back, which is pretty smart. Our first centipede is a bit low on health, but that's alright. He killed our warrior and scooted a hexapod on it. And if I remember right, at this point, he considers resigning, but I think we just play the game out anyways. So we go ahead and siege that third city of his, and we grab his capital. But he's got a rider chilling behind it, so he'll be able to unsiege. He can unsiege with the warrior anyway, but... We go ahead and siege his... What is that, his second city? Third city? I don't know anymore. We siege one of his cities, and we also get our killer monument. So we just slap some more hexapods down. And we can get another centipede in our capital. If we... And yeah, so we kind of go ahead and call it there. We take that city, capture that one, uh, that one way up there, this city over there, and finally the capital. And that is the game. So yeah, the centipede on turn 5 did really help there. I think we both played pretty good anyways. Uh, I did win the third game, so um, I won the series thing, I'm a bobber, but, you know, that's not really what it's about. We're just kind of, you know, doing some games and having fun, and, yeah, we enjoyed it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, too. If you did enjoy, be sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe for more epic Polytopia gameplay, join my Discord server if you want to chat to some of the other gamers that watch my channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a spectacular day.